Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. In today's video, we'll be answering the question, what is a maximal click? This is another video in a sort of string of videos on clicks that were requested by a wonderful viewer. I always appreciate those viewer requests, so be sure to leave yours down in the comments. And with that said, let's get right into the lesson. Here is our graph G that we'll be working with today. I'm going to assume that you already know what a click is, but if you don't, be sure to check out my video lesson on it. I'll leave a link to that lesson in the description. For a quick one sentence recap, a click in a graph is a set of vertices that are all adjacent to each other. It's also sometimes defined as a complete subgraph. So for example, A, B, and C form a click because they are all adjacent to each other. Now what is a maximal click? A maximal click is a click that cannot be extended by adding in another vertex of the graph. So what does that mean? Well, let's look at this as a non-example of a maximal click. Like we said, this is a click, but it's not a maximal click because we could extend it by adding in another vertex of the graph. We can add in F and now have a click with more vertices. We can add in F because it's adjacent to all the vertices in our original click. Now, we are looking at a maximal click. This click cannot be extended by adding in any more vertices. And we can see that clearly by checking the other vertices in this graph. We can extend the click by adding D, because D is not adjacent to F and it's not adjacent to A. So if we added in D, we would no longer have a click. Similarly, we can't add in E because E is not adjacent to C, it's not adjacent to F, and it's not adjacent to A. So again, if we were to add in E, we would no longer have a click because all the vertices wouldn't be adjacent. There's also a handy test we could use to verify that this is a maximal click. In some cases, using this test could be quicker. First, we have to note how many vertices are in our click. In this case, there are four. Since there are four vertices in our click, every vertex in the click has to have a degree of three or greater. This is because if a vertex in the click has a degree less than three, it can't possibly be adjacent to the other three vertices in the click. Therefore, it wouldn't be a click. So since it's a click with four vertices, every vertex has to have a degree of at least three. Then we check to see if any vertex in this click has exactly that minimum degree of three. We know they have to have at least degree three, but we're going to see if any of them have exactly degree three. We see that B has a degree of five, C has a degree of four, but then A has degree three. If we were to continue looking, we'd also see that F has degree three, but for this test, we only need to find one vertex with that minimum degree. Since at least one vertex in this click has that minimum degree, we know that it's a maximal click. So why does this test work? Well, if you pause the video and take a moment to think about it, I'm sure you can figure it out. But let's continue with an explanation for those of you who don't like pausing. We would only be able to extend this click if there was another vertex outside of the click that was adjacent to every vertex already in the click. But since a vertex in our click has the minimum degree of three, we know that there cannot be any vertices outside of the click that are also adjacent to this vertex with that minimum degree. So let's just recap that test one more time. We count the vertices in the click. In this case, there are four. Thus, every vertex in the click has to have a degree of three or greater. Then we check to see if any vertex in the click has that minimum degree of three. And we see that indeed, A does have a degree of three. Thus, this is a maximal click, because every other vertex that isn't in the click is not adjacent to A, so we can't extend the click by including them. And it's very important to note that this test can only tell you if a click is maximal. It cannot tell you that a click is not maximal. We'll see an example of that later. So we know this is a maximal click. Let's go ahead and look at one more example of a maximal click in this graph. The vertices E, B, and D form another maximal click. And that immediately raises the important point that a maximal click is not a maximum click. 
We'll talk more about maximum clicks in another lesson, but the point is a maximal click in a graph does not have to be a click that has the greatest number of vertices of all clicks in that graph. This click has three vertices, this click has four vertices. They're both in the same graph and they're both maximal clicks because neither of them can be extended by adding in another vertex. And in this case, we can use the test that we just went over to verify that it is a maximal click. First, we count the vertices in the click and see that it has three vertices. Then, every vertex in the click needs to have a degree of at least two. We immediately see that E has a degree of two. Therefore, it is a maximal click because it cannot be extended, because no vertex outside of the click can be adjacent to E. But remember that this test can only tell you if a click is maximal. It cannot tell you that a click is not maximal. And we can see that here. The vertices D, B, and C form a maximal click. However, this click would fail our minimum degree test. There are three vertices in this click, so the minimum possible degree is two. But no vertex in this click has a degree of two. However, if you look at the rest of the vertices in this graph, you'll find that we cannot extend the click with any of those vertices. So again, this handy test can tell you if a click is maximal, but it cannot tell you that a click is not maximal. Even if a click fails the test, it might still be a maximal click. And that's where we will leave it for today. So I hope this video helped you understand what maximal clicks are and a bit about how to identify if a click is a maximal click. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet.